Hi, my name is Randy Roach and I'm the supervisor of the Music Instrument Repair Shop. When school's out, we pick up instruments from the entire middle school musical wind instrument and string instrument inventory and we bring it into our shop for service during the summer so that it can be cleaned and repaired and prepared for fall use by the next year's students. Right now in our shop we have about 2,300 instruments that we're cleaning and getting ready for next fall. We have a couple of people that are uh, helping us out that are a part-time help so that we're able to get through a lot of this. They help mainly with the cleaning and then our regular four-man staff of repair technicians do the repairs and also our cleaning instruments also at that time. We have a brass technician, we have a string technician. I take care of primarily the woodwinds. And we also have a piano technician. He tunes pianos throughout the year and replaces broken strings and so forth. And in the summertime, he makes time for bigger projects to uh, rebuild the action, pull some of the mechanism out of the instrument, the grand pianos and, and so forth that we have here in the district and refurbishes the action of the piano work properly and well for the performers and the teachers. A few days ago, I was working on a bass clarinet. This is a tenor saxophone, but I was working on a bass clarinet and out of curiosity, I looked up the serial number in our system to see how old it was and uh, the instrument had been purchased in 1962 uh, for about uh, $600 and, and at this time a replacement value of an instrument like that is about $4,000. So uh, having maintained it, kept it uh, in good repair all that time, it really has extended the life of the instrument and that goes for all of the instruments that we do take care of here also. It's almost like seeing an old friend come back. They all have serial numbers on them, and, and after having done this for many years, you look at an instrument, it's like, oh, this is old 657 again, you know, and look at the scars it has this year, you know, and helping it along and, and getting it ready to go again, and knowing that, you know, it's gonna be used well in, during the school year. We feel we really contribute to the district program here to, to maintain the instruments and make sure that everything is working well for the students in the classroom and that the teachers, the directors are uh, pleased with the service. During the school year, we make service calls to all the schools here in the district. Uh, but during the summertime, we have to kind of hunker down here in the shop and take care of getting all of these instruments ready for fall. I feel like our department through maintaining these instruments and providing rental instruments to uh, kids in the district really enables uh, a successful music program in the schools. I think without this, it would really have a bad impact on the classroom because there would be a lot of kids in our district that would not be able to participate in instrumental music. Everybody loves to come visit here. We like to have people drop in and see what we do because a lot of times uh, that helps uh, convey the message of, of uh, uh, you know, what we do and, and the importance of what we do.